guys, it's Sani Somebody here and I'm with the very special, the very beautiful, the very, very talented Miss DJ Caper. I mean, she literally just touched down today from London here in Los Angeles and tell the good people how it feels to be back in the US, where you're going to be um, stopping along your tour and what you're expecting. Uh, it feels great. I haven't been here uh, maybe for about four months. Uh, before that I was coming here like every six weeks. And then over the summer I got really busy with the festivals and stuff in the UK. So I haven't been here for a while so I've just, like you said, I just landed. Um, and I'm at my studio here tonight and then I'm in Chicago tomorrow at Underground. Um, then somewhere in Florida and then New York, New York and, and Salt Lake Florida. City, Atlanta, did I say that? Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, I'm doing quite a few places. So, like you were saying, you're going to be here in Los Angeles today in my studio. For the people who are, who are going to be coming along on the tour to come see you, and for those who have not yet been fortunate to experience you in the mix, can you tell us what can they expect to see and hear from you? Well, it, de depending on the crowd, like today, for example, I think it's going to, because it's a Saturday night, it's going to be, you know, a lot of top 40 commercial kind of, that kind of crowd. So, you know, just going to be playing stuff that people can sing along to and just have fun and drink to. Um, that's the main thing. That's what you want to do on a Saturday night. <laughs> So yeah, but you know, with my own little kind of flavour in there as well. So you'll kind of see when I, when I, it's hard to explain, but you know, I kind of, I do little routines and stuff, so yeah. So, um, as you are one of the most indisputably renowned, respected female DJs, DJs in general, um, you started your career very much in the hip hop scene. I think personally, it's been such a beautiful thing to see you grow over the last 10 years, particularly in the most recent years. Can you share with us um, what inspired this growth? Um, how do you think you've changed um, mostly which areas and if you've encountered any challenges uh, personally and professionally during this period of growth? Well, I mean, like you said, like I, I started playing hip hop, but I, I think it was good that I had that foundation because learning to kind of scratch and, you know, learning the hip hop way of basics, DJing, yeah. the basics kind of helps me with to DJ with any kind of genre. But whatever I play, I play like rock, I play house, dubstep, drum and bass, grime, whatever it is, I can play it in a hip hop way mm -hmm. and just make it interesting and kind of fun for me and, and the audience as well so I think that's that's pretty much and just kind of staying on top of new music and you know uh, the new trends and you know you as a DJ you have to stay on top of what's what's new and what's next so I think that's really important and that's the way I've pretty much done it throughout my whole career. So speaking of what's new and fresh right now could you share with us some of the newer bands newer artists that definitely have caught your eye and your uh, piqued your interest? Do you know what like in obviously in the UK, um, dubstep has always been. It's it's not a new thing. It's been big for a long time, but it's it's good to see the genre progressing into like 
there's there's a new new thing called future dubstep now. Future and, dubstep. Yeah, <laughs> and like and like dubstep came from UK garage, so now there's like future garage now, and and it's really interesting because it's all you know it's electronic music, but then there's so many different elements in there of like you know like of dance hall and just like house it's all just a mishmash of everything and it's just so interesting the way that the producers are kind of making sounds and you know all these little interesting ways of making music it's really fun for me i've noticed that in the last two years it's been a great time to be british and in music um i think you've just mentioned that it's just not a fad it's been something that's been a long time coming but what do you think is really pushing this like English music revival renaissance here. Um, well, I mean, I think I think I, I remember coming here when MIA kind of started oh, yeah. blowing up, and it's so funny because in the UK, like, no one was really feeling her that much. But then when she came over to the States and she blew up, you know, and we, she was over in the UK, we kind of saw her as a hipster mm -hmm. and like the kind of the the queen of hip, of hipsters basically and we didn't really get it but when she came over here it just blew up and then it just yeah I mean she really did open a lot of doors for a lot of UK artists um, and uh, you know following her it was like um, I mean Amy Winehouse I mean even right now there's the Adele and the Mumford and yeah. Sons and Jessie J who you had on your show for the yeah. BBC yeah, yeah. Well, I think, Harris I, even I think Amy Winehouse for the girls especially is she was the one, you know, she definitely opened up a lot of doors and kind of helped the US audience to be familiar with, with UK music again um, and opened doors for like Adele, and even Estelle, um, you know, they, those guys. So yeah, I think, I think, you know, it takes like every so often it takes one artist to kind of really break, break the boundary and then, you know, after that everyone's like... Everyone's coming over and doing great things over here, and it's just—it's good to see. It's good to see that every, you know so many artists are doing well over here, like Tiny Temper. As well. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Speaking of people doing well, though, as I've heard, you recently won a Brit Asian Award for the best club DJ. Okay. Um, how does that feel? I mean, it's one thing to have a fan come up to you and be like, "Okay, for Kepa, I really like your music," but when the big boys and girls give you a thumbs up, how does that make you feel? I mean, it's great. Like, I just, do, I just do what I do. I didn't really. I, I'm not like looking for awards and <laughs> yeah. stuff. But it's nice to just be acknowledged because I've been doing it for for such a long time. I've, I kind of got used to being the underdog, and you know, everyone else getting a lot of credit for, every, for you know, <laughs> for DJing and whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's just nice. I mean, what, what can I say? I, you know, I don't sit at home and look at my awards and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Fair, fair enough, but you very I much. My mom has <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, I've actually been following you on Twitter for a little bit now, and it's really refreshing to see how genuinely you respond to your fans and people who are liking you and following you, um, just retweeting to them and shouting people out and things like that. Is that something you do enjoy? And why is doing something like that being connected important to you? I think it's it, it's just important to. to stay in touch with them and you know like they'll let me know like what they what they liked about my set while I was DJing at this place or what they didn't like even and it's just nice to have that connection like back in the day I couldn't you know do that sometimes I'm, I'll be at the airport and I'll be bored and I'll just start tweeting them and then they'll be telling me oh, I really love this and I really love that and I listen to your show and it's just just nice to kind of keep in touch with with people that have been following me and and I think I think it's really important for anyone, whether you're an artist or DJ or producer or whatever, to keep in touch with your audience. So, so if people wanted to be in touch with you other than Twitter, what else are you on on the interwebs? On, uh, you can hit me up on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com forward slash DJ Caper. What else do I use? Um, SoundCloud is a good place for me to kind of discover music at the moment. Dropbox is running my life. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, that, that that's that's also and also your website, right? Yeah, and my website. It was just revamped, so check yes. it out. It's really yes. awesome. <laughs> DJ, DJKaper.co.uk. I just kind of um, I got really bored with with what was on there, and like I kind of realised that I've, I'm getting older and I'm growing up a bit. 
so I, I got rid of the old look and yeah. No, so. we're totally, totally digging the new stuff. It's like jackets. It's a bit re revealing. Exactly. Yeah. It's cute though. It's good. It's it, my, my friends are like, you're showing your legs. <laughs> you don't show your legs. And I'm like, yeah, well, sometimes, you know, this is the other side of me that no one knew about. So with your profession, I know that you're always traveling around, you're in Cannes for the film festival, every week you're on the BBC with your show, TV commercials, the whole shebang. But um, let us know what's next, like, what are you up to music-wise, personally, um, we want to know. Um, well, I think 2012 is it next year? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I need. To, I, I'm going to be concentrating a lot more on production. That's something that I've always wanted to do from when I was very young, even before I was DJing. So, um, but it's just really hard when you're always on the road to kind of just focus on production. So I've made it, you know, the thing for next next year. I need to need to get into the studio and and put some more stuff out. Are there any artists in particular or celebrities that you want to be working for, with on those productions and different projects you have in mind? Diplo. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Diplo, you, hope you're watching and listening. Yeah, when he's not... Paul Caper. <laughs> when, when he's not busy with Beyonce and Rihanna and whoever else. What about Mark Ronson? I heard that's your, your future husband. Yes, that is my future husband. He doesn't Paul Caper. He doesn't know it, but he will soon. It's my future husband. I'd love to work with Mark, Mark Ronson. I've... I've like followed him since he was, you know, from the hip hop days. Mm -hmm. So I would love to work with him. Also, um, yeah, just a lot of like, there's a lot of up and coming producers that I think are really, really talented that I would love to get into the studio with. Um, there's a there's a guy called Guy Furious. Mm -hmm. I was saying uh, Future Garage. That's what he makes. Um, I uh, worked with a dubstep band called Engineers last year and we put out a track which Diplo put on Mad Decent which is cool so um, so yeah you know I'm just kind of always looking out for, for new talent that's a good thing about doing my show I can kind of you know what I mean champion new talent and new producers and new MCs you know so well there you guys have it DJ Caper Please come out and check her out on this tour. She's going to be in the U.S., various cities, New York, Chicago, Atlanta for the next two weeks. I want to thank you so much for taking your time with us and uh, keep doing what you're doing because it's awesome. Thank you very much for having me. What's up? I'm DJ Caper representing London, England. You're watching Break My Song TV. If you're a producer, if you're an MC, if you're an artist, you just make good music, make sure you check out BreakMySong.com and hit me up with all your... Amazing music.